It's a small plastic card that holds a mm -hmm. lot of weight. State identification cards are required for essential parts of life, like applying for a job or housing. But for people experiencing homelessness, that piece of identity often gets lost. KXAN's Tahara Rahman reports on one Austin family's struggle in trying to get one and how a new program in San Marcos may help folks there. Marilyn Good's son has moved back home after being evicted from his own in San Francisco. He walked out of his apartment with a clothes on his back and an expired passport. She says the help he needs, like substance abuse treatment and housing programs, all require a photo ID, the same requirement for agencies who issue them, like the Department of Public Safety. There's a conundrum here. What do we do? There's an effort here in the city of San Marcos to help make it easier to get that photo ID. You can now make an appointment here at the public library and within 15 minutes have a photo ID. It would be up to the organizations and social service agencies or government entities in the community to decide that they were going to accept this is a form of ID or not. Hannah Dern's homeless resource group is already working on getting those approvals. Here's this local ID and it has my picture on it and I'm working to get this other form of identification through the state and maybe we could go ahead and get services started. The Austin Public Library says they're looking into a similar card. Until then, good is back to square one after five months. She's now consulting an attorney, but knows others don't have that help. Maybe if somebody sees me sitting here in my nice house and saying, I'm trying as hard as I can, and I can't get it done. So when you put this burden on somebody who's got nobody and who's living on the street, what chance did they have? Tahira Rahman, KXAN News.